Ram Man here. I'm going to give a little class about rotors, drilled and slotted rotors, and try to help out a client. A client of mine's bought a couple of these 1175 rotors right here, and he's complaining about one side uh, makes a noise. Makes a noise when he applies the brake. Well, number one, rotors don't make any noise. They especially not a mechanical or a clanking noise. It's impossible. The only thing that can be wrong with the rotor is if it's not running true or a thickness variation. And the way to check that is to dismount the rotor and take somebody with rotor lathe and set it up there and check the specifications. Whether it's got any wobble in it or thickness variation. That's how you check a rotor. This old stuff about out there on the internet and these forums about left and right on drilled and slotted rotors and all that, about how that could make a noise or a clanking sound, is absolutely absurd. Once again, that is absolutely absurd. Number one, the only time you're ever talking about left and right and, and slot direction is when you're dealing with specific rotors that have directional veins just like that most rotors all solid rotors through history have straight veins just like this and most of the drilled and slotted rotors have straight veins they're straight just like this straight veins this right here is showing veins like this so all of our rotors are straight veins. So, there you go. So, that is not the problem. So, when this right here is mounted on the right side, these go forward. And when they're mounted on the left side, well, they go to the rear. So, that is not the problem, nor does it, does it cause clunking or makes noise. It's something else. Doesn't matter whether you, and even with directional rotors, whether you get them on there, left or right, it's not going to cause any noises or clunkings. It's impossible. All it'll do is impede the cooling a little bit because the direction of airflow, it'll just impede it a little bit and it won't work as well. It's just like a propeller or a fan. It doesn't matter whether this thing is turning clockwise or counterclockwise. It's not going to start clunking all of a sudden. Propellers and rotors on their own, all it is is a propeller, essentially a solid propeller. Don't make noises if they're spinning true, correct, and have no thickness variation. So, if you've got a problem with one side of the car, you've got to check out those components. Then the first way to eliminate a problem is to get it checked and eliminate it and take that out of the variable mix. The only way to check a rotor is to dismount it and go get it checked for thickness variation and whether or not it's running true. Once you get that information, you can put that to bed and you can get on to the real problem that's causing a noise or a clunking, whatever that may be. Thank you.